guys, so I just wanted to show off my uh, new set in this video. It's not a review or anything like that because I've already done those videos on V9 pads. Uh, this is literally just to show you my new set because who doesn't like looking at nice gear? Um, so yeah, that, you know, <laughs> as become pretty obvious if you've watched my channel at all, you know I love Vaughn, it's my main pads, my main set. So. Um, you know, just my last set was starting to get a little beat up and, uh, you know, I just wanted to, especially with the order times being what they are, I just wanted to go ahead and, and order a new set. I didn't want to like wait till the other set completely died and then who knows how long I'm waiting on a new set. So I always like to, you know, get rid of my old sets while they still have a little life left in them and then I get my new set. So with the old set, it was a Navy base of mainly with like, sport gold in the back and red accents basically the classic panther colors um so a while ago i had been doing pads with red bases then i went to like the sport gold as the base and then the last like i said with the last pad navy so i don't know i just wanted to go back to red red's my favorite color so these are the pads same spec everything there's really you know there's some very minor things i changed pretty much just superficially it's nothing with the structure of the pad but yeah same specs as my other ones so like i said if you're really curious you can go back and watch the video i did on my original v9 set and it's going to apply to this as well this is just to show you what these look like really more than anything else um so the only like cosmetic difference with these as opposed to my last set is the material used on this part of the leg because, and the only reason why the material is different is I wanted the back of the pad to be all navy and this is usually a mesh material stock on these pads and for whatever reason they only offer certain colors with that mesh material and navy was not one of them. So in order to get the navy color, I just got this regular, I don't know, nylon, whatever this material is they use. Instead, it's not a huge difference. Um, you know, I, I use, as always, I used, uh, went through Whack at Pure Goalie, and he said really it's not, like, it doesn't really change the pad at all or anything like that. You know, the mesh is a little more breathable, but that was, I don't know, I don't think it really makes a difference. Um, another positive about this, material is it doesn't catch on like velcro or whatever and as you can see there's a velcro strap that goes across here so what could happen with the mesh i mean it really wasn't a huge problem there's a little bit of it catching but it didn't end up being an issue but i guess some people do have issues with the velcro catching on the mesh and it kind of messes up the mesh a little bit i didn't really have that issue but i don't know i guess that's another advantage of using this material instead of mesh is that that definitely won't happen but mainly i just did it because i i wanted to get the navy color in the back so yeah, the back is like all navy, and then the navy comes around the side to here, and then it goes from red to here to here. And then you got the sport gold accents. Um, still out of the box, this pad is super, you know, flexible, squishy. Same thing like I showed on the last V9 set I had. That's why I use these pads. Um, glove, V9 glove. Uh, again, it's just the different colors to match the, the leg pads from my other v9 set i mean to match these current leg pads but it's different from my past v9 set and again the same issue with like that mesh material which is normally stock around here on the glove switched it to this material uh, to get the navy color um and then the other very minor cosmetic thing is um this vaughn logo here is you normally flipped the other way I don't know why they did it that way. It was that way in my past glove. Um, Wack pointed that out when I was doing the order process. He's like, hey, you know, some guys asked me to flip it that way. Cause normally, you know, you hold your glove either maybe like this or if full fingers up is like this. And then it makes sense that it reads this way. As opposed to when it's upside down, the only way that makes sense is if your glove is like down and how often is it straight down like that? So absolutely no big deal at all. It's literally just a cosmetic thing. But it, once he explained that to me, I was like, yeah, you know what, you're right. It, it makes more sense when it's this way. So whatever, he had them order it or had them do it this way. Doesn't do any, doesn't change the performance or anything like that. That's just visual thing on the glove. So the one, I guess, big difference in, in this set is 
I switched out the brand on the blocker. I did not go with a Vaughn V9 blocker. So if you saw my videos in the past on the V9 set, that's like the one thing that like it wasn't terrible. I I didn't didn't absolutely hate it, but to me it was like the weak point in the V9 line. Um, I just didn't think it was that great of a blocker, especially the, I I didn't like the way the sidewall was really flimsy on it. Um, and again, if you see my videos on like the Bauer stuff I've had anything to do with the blocker, I absolutely love Bauer's blockers. So I decided, what the hell. With this set, I'm gonna get the blocker I really like and get a Bauer blocker. And the cool thing is that the uh, it's a hyperlight blocker, but I got it with the ultras ultrasonic graphic because the ultrasonic graphic matches the pad graphic really well. So this is the blocker. You can see, hold on, let me see. That matches really good. So it was like, just happened to work out that way you know, it was a blessing. Um, so this is a hi hyper light blocker as far as build. It's just skinned as the ultrasonic because of the graphic matches really good with how I did the rest of the set. So, but it's, other than that, it's just a stock, as far as the build, it's a stock hyper light blocker. Again, if you're interested in like a review or me going over it, I've done videos on, on the hyper light blocker in the past with my hyper light set. So go watch that. This is not review. This is just showing you my new stuff. Um, so yeah, so I'm psyched that now I'm going to be able to be, you know, everything else about the set I, of the V9 that I loved, it was just like I said, that blocker was just kind of like meh. So now I'm really happy that I'm going to have a main set where I love every piece of gear. Um, this is basically like my dream setup as far as brands because leg pads, I haven't found anything to beats out the Vaughn V9 for me. Glove, the Vaughn V9 has been my favorite glove. I've, I've had other gloves that were at least close you know pretty good but still the Vaughn V9 is my favorite and the Bauer Hyperlite blocker has been my favorite so now I'm using every piece of gear I'm using is my absolute favorite so that's great um, yeah there's not really much else to say about the gear like I said it's pretty much the same just a couple of cosmetic differences and you know different kind of color colorways but uh, I just want to show you guys you know um, so yeah, this is a short, short little video just showing my new set. Um, as usual, if you guys got any questions, comments, just leave them in the comment section. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.